Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. What the announcement you are coming now? Out of all, the church is coming. We are saying about you. We did so via Moye. We did so via Aye. The Koye Emayen. The church is we really appreciate your support we appreciate your courage we appreciate what you are doing for us you are really making it going viral you are really making it going viral thank you thank you thank you very much you are sharing it you are really sharing the information. We thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let me say, "Obu Adiano, on camera. Obu Adiano, on shramu. Emi nyansa mo 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 na yemfa embo yebra." Ado fo ya babium. Sana muni muno yebusu a yewo Abraham asi esuma echato Islam. Ni hunse mi yebi su. Ni hunse mi yebi kri kwa. Ni hunse mo dosun. Islam hunse mo dosun. E no, e na ye wusu a ye ka hunse mo. Se me be ya ma obi embe kase. Ni a ye ka no ye bo ya jimu na ye ka. It a fabrication, it a lie. And you know how they do it. That is why we started somewhere. And we started to break it down into pieces. And that's why it's still going. And that's why you will still see that we are not yet nowhere. But now we are almost there. If you don't understand how the people were living, if you don't understand how they were doing their things, how can you understand the religion? Because honesty, we say it without a single doubt. The religion belongs to Arabs. The religion is for the Arabs. And even with the Arabs, not all the Arabs. It is for Saudi Arabia Arabs, but because the other Arabs are Arabs as well, they try to go with it. That is why, even if you go to other Islamic countries, other Arab Islamic countries, the way they practice Islam varies. The way they practice Islam is different. Every Arabian country has the way they practice their Islam. Every Arabian country has what they do, what they prefer. So you go to Egypt, you see a different kind of practice altogether. The way they relate to the Islamic religion, they are taught and everything is all quite different. When you go to Saudi Arabia, it is different. When you go to when you go to Jordan, Oman, all these people they have all this sect and all that. Yes, because it is a man made term. So that is it. Now we are explaining it and we are really, really uh digging deeper flipping the other side of the coin in the previous video we told you the type of marriages it's unfortunate that we couldn't give all the 10 we wanted to give all the 10 we are able to give nine and we are able to give eight the remaining two we'll talk about them one day so we've seen the type of marriages they have and how their marriages and how man woman of male female relationship is in Arabian Peninsula. When the realities of life is uncovered, change is a must. Right now, this episode is going to discuss about the marriage of Abdullah, the son of Abu Muttalib, and Abdullah, who is the father of Prophet Muhammad. As usual, we are with the second oldest book of biography of Prophet Muhammad. This book has been with us for a long time, so even though sometimes we add some books to it, but yet this has been with us for a long time. And we are still with it. Today, we will read something here about the marriage of Abdullah, and we're gonna read something about the marriage of Abdullah's father, Abdul Muttalib as well, and see what transpired before this marriage took place. 
Now, in the previous video, we told you the one before the marriage, the one, the video, the last video we did before we did the marriage video, the type of marriage video. We told you how Abdullah was saved by slaughtering 100 or 300 camels to save him ransomly. A full conco baku baku, hundred. A full conco baku baku, three hundred. A BC, a BC, a hundred. A BC, a three hundred. And a Yoku, a Yatra, Aji, Abdallah, Prophet Muhammad, the Papa. The Yatra, you know, a fee, a new tree, and a Rawariasem, and a woman, and a buy. My uncle, tea, a day, and a Yubu Hisham, a war, and a mine. And sana aware na sem be ban. Eh, ibu ni sham anareti story bi. Oba bi a ye frenu rakika. Asa oba nu oye wara katu bun mel fal limia. Oni abdalla din kita hudie bi. San kita hudie nu. Mumma yanka wasem. There was a lady called. Rakika, a Rakika is Waraka to Bunaufal's sister, but she is also known as Rakika to Bin Tunaufal. There was a conversation between Abdullah, Prophet Muhammad's father, and this lady. There was something. The thing was brought here. Let's see what was that. Ibn Hisham says. Call Ibn Ishaq. Ibn Ishaq in Al Maghazi has this to say. He says, Fumman Sarafa Abdul Mutaliba Ahidan Yedi Abdullah. After the slaughter of the animals, the camels, Abdul Mutalib pulled the hand of Abdullah and they, they were going. Also, in Samunana Amoko. فمر به فيما يزومون على امرأة. Now, such particular story way. Ibn Ishaq as a one story in GOC. Abdul Mutalib saw Niba Abdullah and Semua Omu Chemun. فمر به Omu Chemun. Kama Yazumun. Fima Yazumun. Omu CSC. So it's some kind of conjunctum. It just Telling the story, but it's like on this story, in to almost say, or more, or baby, and Obama, yeah, Rakika to be into no fun. Send a medical kind that is the woman, Rakika to be into no fun is the woman that they pass by, they pass by her, member the asset, and she's coming from the clan of asset now, and they mentioned. Her lineage or her lineage, very long one. They mentioned her lineage, very long one. And then they said, Were here, oh, to Waraka to be no fall, or ye, Waraka to be no fall, Waraka to be no fall, mean we are back. Why near Waraka to be no fall? Ye back and once a major. Mean we are back. Were here in the Kaaba. Omu Abdullah ni ni papa Abdul Mutalib omu chemu na oma pa maami no omu ana oba no omu na oba no ewo kaaba omu fakwa leti lehu e na oba na kachre Abdullah se he in another word ila waji he osha Abdullah ni mbi e na wakachre Abdullah se a ina tazhab ya Abdullah Abdullah oo kwa hi ana e hi fana ko where are you going she watched Ab Abdullah's face and she asked him, Oh, Kwahifa, where are you going? Where are you going, Abdullah? Call him, Ma Abi, I'm walking with my dad. Like, fine, I'm walking with my dad. Call it. And she said to him, And our Banu Katre, Abdullah said, Laka mithilu li ibili leti muhirat anka 
وقع علي الان مي بمو افونو بون كونا دودونا يتا ادي تشاجي ون مي مو افونو بون كونو اوا بيا باكو سو سو بيا بيا باكو امامي مي مو افونو بون كونو the same افونو بون كو اي يتا ادي افونو بون كو دودونا يتا ادي تشاجي ون مي مو انو دودوني بي اوا بيا بيا مي بسي ويا امامي This is what the woman told Abdullah according to the book. I'm giving you the number of the cow, the camel, sorry, the camel that are being slaughtered on your behalf for the deity or for the deities. I'm giving you that particular number. So if you go with the hundred, then this woman is putting a proposal that she, she's going to give Abdullah hundred camels. If you go with those that say it is 300, then this woman is putting a proposal to Abdullah that she's going to give him 300 cow, uh, camels for a condition. What was the condition? Come and have an intercourse with me right now. Come. And let's have an intercourse right now. Brana me ni wona. Na ndana ya kwa kwa danu. E mu ache diye. E mu ase da me di ima o nene se. Mi ima o e funu po nko dudu wona ya cha ma bosu muna ya tu cha ji wono. E nuna me di ima o nchi. So uko with hundred a. It means oba anu. Ebe manu. Hundred e funu po nko. So who we'll call with 300 uh, over man 300? Now on the noon quota. This woman is some kind of sugar mommy. I don't know, but this is how it sounds like because a lady to have that number of camels to give out and she, she's ready to give it out because of sex. This is what is here. The book is in the market. Go get it. What they are laying on. Come and let us do it. Come and let us have intercourse. Kala, Abdullah told her, Anna, Ma Abi. According to this answer, Abdullah is not rejecting the offer. The only reason why Abdullah could not go is because. He is with his father. Anna, Ma Abi. I am with my dad. I can't leave my dad. If I have to leave my dad, I have to tell my dad where I am going. So I can't leave him. I can't tell him where I am going. So I can't leave him. So it's not that he is rejecting the idea. No. He's giving an excuse. He's giving the lady an excuse. Not that he's saying, I will not do it. He's giving the lady an excuse. Does this mean that something like this is a phenomenon in the pre-Islamic Arabian Peninsula? Well, I didn't say that and I'm asking a question. Wala astati'u khilafahu. I cannot disobey my dad. Wala astati u khilafa u. Min to me and disobey me papa. Wala firak, wala firaka u. And I mean to me in jano honsu and bedi wichi. So, he has given an excuse. It could be a denier but indirect. It could also be that the chance is not there because the father is around. It could be anything. It could be that Abdullah want to leave here he doesn't want to do it, but he doesn't want to hurt her feelings, meaning she's feeling for him. He doesn't want to hurt her feelings, so he's trying to be polite. It could be that he would have done it, but the father is around. He can't disobey the father, and he can't leave the father alone. So this is what transpired. Now, 
The next thing in the book is saying Abdul Muttalib Yuzawiju Abdullah Amina Tabin Tuab. Abdul Muttalib E Wari E Diamani Ba Abdullah. E Ba O Wari E Diamani No E Amina. Amina Bin Tuab. Amina A Oye Wahab Ni Baba. So, the next thing after this incident, Abdul Muttalib took Abdallah or went to ask Amina's hand in marriage for his son Abdallah. And this is what happened. Fakharaja bihi Abdul Muttalib hatta ata bihi wahab bun Abdul Manaf bun Zuhra. And then they mentioned the lineage. So he took Abdallah, Abdul Muttalib took his son Abdallah to the family of wahab, Abdul Manaf. Ah, Obuye, Banu Zahara. The tribe is Banu Zahara. He took him there. And I also see about one pair at the man. So he went to propose or to ask the hand of Amina for his son Abdallah. So this is what happened. So this is the narration Ibn Hisham has for the incident of marriage of Abdallah. When I am here, Ibn Hisham, Abdal Abdallah, Abdul Muttalib, Akosre, Amina, Ewa Banu Zahara, Ebusya, Efra, Banu Zahara, Ekosra, Abayo, Efra, Amina, Ediba, Maniba, Abdallah. So, it means that Abdallah and Amina are the parents of Prophet Muhammad. This is what the book is saying now let me get let me take you into another book actually that one is a contemporary one let me take you into that one and let's see what he has to say in in some kind of way the other book i'm gonna pick right now has confirmed the stories here and he has brought something that will lead us to read another book which will be the third book be with me and I have a lot to tell you concerning this marriage. That is the marriage of Abdallah and Amina, which Abdallah's father, Abdul Muttalib, championed. Now, this is another biography, biography book of Prophet Muhammad, which is known as Hayat Muhammad, meaning the life of prophet muhammad hayat muhammad the author of this book is an egyptian he authored the book twice when the first edition of the book came out or when the first edition of the book was published the whole islamic community of egypt stood up the temperament of majority of muslims especially the sunni islam their temperament went wild because of the things he mentioned in the book some secrets were mentioned in the first edition of this book which has driven the anger of the muslims in egypt very high and the islamic world at large so he was obliged and forced to take the book out of sight and edit the book and take some things out. After I've given you those narrations, I'll do another video for you telling you certain things that are hidden, some secrets that are hidden about Prophet Muhammad. Let me tell you, Prophet Muhammad's father's name was never Abdullah. The name Abdallah was fabrication. Prophet Muhammad himself, when he was born, he was not named Muhammad. The name Muhammad was a fabrication. All these things are there. But this one are secret that has been covered and buried for a long time. So when Muhammad Hussein Haikal brought out this book, the first edition, he mentioned all those things and Muslims nearly came after him 
So he was obliged and forced to take the book out of sight, edit it, take some things out, and then bring the book out. So this is the second edition. But I've tried to get the first edition, which that one I couldn't, I couldn't get the hard copy. I only have the soft copy of the first edition. And in fact, in fact, the first edition is interesting. But it has taken almost 30% of what is in the first edition out of this one. This is this has been this is rampant in Islamic world. Islam in Islamic world, this is rampant. You say the realities of Islamic religion and Muslims will come after you. A whole lot of people have suffered the same. The Islamic elite, the Islamic elite, Islamic academic acrimony has suffered this. The likes of Najib Mahfouz. When Najib Mahfouz wrote his uh, his novel work, which is Awula uh, Duharat, the children of my community, Muslims came after him. They nearly killed him. They they plotted so many accidents, but Najib Mahfouz is able to escape. Najib Mahfouz is also Egyptian scholar. Dr. Toha Hussein, Dr. Toha Hussein, one of the highest elite of Islam, Arabic language, who is known as the pillar of Arabic literature, Amit Adabul Arabi. When he published his first book, he published the first edition of Adabul Jahim, the literature of the pre-Islamic Arabic. The whole Muslim community came after him. They, ne they nearly killed him as well. He has to take the first publication out from the site and go and edit it. And it is a whole lot. We can say, we can keep on the list. The list can keep on going and going and going. This is what is happening. So the same thing happened to this man here, Muhammad Hussein Haikal. Now, what is Muhammad Hussein Haikal got to say about the marriage of uh, Abdullah? Now he has First Luthali, which means chapter 3 of the book, which is in the page of 132. That is, if my edition on your ed edition is the same, go check it and you're going to see it there. The chapter 3 of the book has so many terms. Among the terms is Ziwaj Abdullah. Bun Amina, the marriage of Abdullah to Amina, and this is what happened. He says, Can Abdul Mutalib Sabina Auna Hazaha? Abdul Mutalib, who was Abdullah's father, is almost 70 or 70 years or above. So, according to this Sira book, according to this biography of Prophet Muhammad, Abdul Abdul Mutalib, who was the father of Abdullah, is almost 70 years and above. In a hour, and then he read, uh, he said a whole lot of things, and he got to hear, and he says, uh, he says that Faraa and Yuzawida, who Wakana Ibn Abdullah, Firabi at Wanshirina Misini, and Abdullah, at that time that Abdul Mutalib was 70 years and above, Abdullah is also 24 years. And Farah and Yusuf Widawu and Abdul Muttalib thinks that it's time for him to marry to get a woman for Abdullah. Now, let's continue. Fakhtar alahu abinatu bin Tuwahab, and Abdul Muttalib chose Amina, the daughter of Wahab, for Abdullah. So the same thing in the other book in Ibn Hisham's book now and he mentioned the tribe it is from they are from banu zahra banu zahra this banu zahra tribe is that is a tribe that majority of them were christians actually majority of them were christians okay now wakharaja atta atta manazi banu zahra he went to banu zahra's uh, uh, vicinity environment wadakala wa iyahu in the Wahab, and then he went to Wahab and asked the hand of his daughter for his son. So 
That is what happened. Now, وَفِلْيَوْمِ الَّذِي And then he mentioned Arab terms and he came to say وَفِلْيَوْمِ الَّذِي تَزَوَّجَ عَبْدَاللَّ فِيهِ The same day that Abdullah got married to Amina, Amina, Tazawwaja Abdul Mutalib min ibunati ammi hahala. Abdul Mutalib, who was the father of Abdullah, also got married to a woman, a lady who is a family sister to Amina from the same tribe, Banu Zahra, and her name was Hala. So father and son married the same day. Abdullah and his father Abdul Muttalib married the same day from the same family, Banu Zahra. The wife of Abdullah is Amina and the wife of Abdul Muttalib is Hala. Interesting, right? Okay, let's continue. And Fa'awladaha Hamza Amman Nabi. And Hala gave birth to Hala, the wife of Abdallah's, the wife of Abdallah's father, Abdul Muttalib, gave birth to a baby boy who is known as Hamza. Amun Nabi, who became the uncle of Prophet Muhammad. Wadaribu who fisinihi, and who was also the age made to Prophet Muhammad. So, Prophet Muhammad and Hamza are age mates. Is this really true? No, it is not true. It is never true. What is here is that the same day that Abdullah married was the same day his father, Abdul Muttalib, also got married. Abdullah married from Banu Zahra, and his father, Abdul Muttalib, also married from Banu Zahra. The name of the wife of Abdullah is Amina, and the name of the wife of Abdul Muttalib is Hala. These two women, gave birth. Amina gave birth to Muhammad and Hala gave birth to Hamza. We are not yet at the birth point. Why two women from the same family? This answer will lead us to another book that we're going to read for you in the next video. Why two women from the same clan, which is Banu Zahra. Why? The answer is coming to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Share it. I love you. Thank you very much. When the realities of life are uncovered, change is a must. Bye-bye.